So before the video start, I apologize for the audio quality for this episode. Apparently, the mic input is not fully jack in the camera and the audio only pick up by the onboard mic. Hence, the audio quality is kind of compromised. But I will add in subtitle for this episode. Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna do another review, another folding bike from FN Horn, which is FN Horn Blast. Alright, let's go. my previous video about FN Horn gas. Um, this is another FN Horn bike and again thank you for PP Cycle Philips that allowed me to shoot this and make it happen this is the only way for me to make um, bike information available to you all lah. for those who are new here FN Horn is actually a China brand and previously they are actually the OEM factory for Dahon that's why most of their frame is very similar to Dahon and after a while they start launching their own design and also they offer frame set only to the market which hit the point to the market because previously most of the folding bike brand only offer complete bike for those who want their bicycle looks a bit more different uh, FN Horn is a really good choice because you buy the frame and then you can choose the component that you prefer before I start the video, as usual, I will break this video into a few parts. First will be the frame set, second will be the group set, third wheel set, fourth finishing kit, and then how is it look like after you fold it down. The last part will be three things I like and three things I don't like. First, let's talk about the frame set. As, as you can see over here, this is the 30 inch aluminium folding bike from FN Horn. This particular bike over here is using a 451 wheel set and I'm pretty sure this can be fit a 406 wheel set as well. And this is a disc brake frame where it is something that good to have compared to caliper brake or V brake. Technology is a bit outdated. The paint job, I like the color but the design is kind of dull if you ask me. It would be great if they do something like Dahon. Uh, for example, K3 is a great example of dual tone paint job but I guess this yellow color is decent enough lah. at least the workmanship is good and I can see the welding is tidy as well just like most of the Dahon folding bike design the folding hitch is actually located at the top tube where you fold the bike into half and you lower down your seat post you fold down your header post and the bike folded in smaller package I would say this is one of the most common folding mechanism that you can find on the market and it's kind of proven with a minimal issue because you only have one hitch over here so it makes a lot of sense for bike brand to start with this kind of folding mechanism like. and on the rear I can see there is a carrier or bike rack mounting on so it's something that good to have when you have folding bike like this you can put on your rear rack and put on your pannier your luggage and I would say this type of bike is one of the best bike or touring because of the flexibility lah. You, you can fold your bike down and decided to take other type of transport like you want to fly or you take a train this doesn't cause you as much problem compared to a full size bicycle material wise this is actually a aluminium 6061 series uh, 6061 is one of the most common material to use in the bicycle industry lah. there is other like 7075 which is somehow the aluminium has been always a popular material for folding bike because of the characteristic. First is lightweight, second it is tough and then third it is stiff and also newer technology like hydrofoam usually happen on aluminium frame. Lah. Now let's move on to the group set. They come to group set because FN Horn offer frame set only option right so as I can see, uh, the owner is probably someone a bit lah. So this probably is not his first bike. There's some decent component over here. At the rear is a Diagra 10 speed rear derailleur. At the front is a Sora front derailleur. And, and also the crank set, I can see it is a Light Pro H, which comes in double chain ring, uh, 53 
39 this will greatly increase the gear range la, with 20 inch wheel and then 20 speeds in total this setup probably will be able to tackle every single hill in Clang Valley la. on the braking system uh, because this frame set is a disc brake bike you can see the owner actually out for Shimano MP200 hydraulic disc brake and this is something really good because if you use any uh, cable actuated disc brake before you will know that actually the performance is not that great but once you change to hydraulic disc brake it is like a whole new level the braking power is much more better and the control over the brake lever is much more precise as well uh, the shifter uh, because this bike is a double sharing setup so you have shifter at the left and right and both is Tiagra setup and let's move on to the wheel set so when we come to wheel set this bike show the flexibility again um, this one definitely will be able to fit both 406 and 451 tires and again this is something very fun because you can slap on a 451 like, like now and go for a very fast ride and if you're feeling a little bit like gravel right or go off the middle path a bit you can slap on a 406 wheel set with wider tires and you can go a light off-road lah it's almost like a one bike to lose it all but folding version wheel set over here um, it is Miao No Miao No bikes so it is the same like my Gus uh, Miao No is actually a boutique wheel set manufacturer in China nothing surprised they are famous for value for money they have a range of product that cater for uh, different budget needed um, and with the price get a really decent wheel set lah. one thing about this brake bike uh, I love it because you no need a you no need a braking track over there so your whole rim can be like black color you don't need a silver color braking surface that usually you see on uh, rim brake bike the tires is actually a Swabe 1 tire which is awesome uh, again for those who don't know so I have always emphasized how greatly your tires can improve your ride right uh, Swabe 1 is one of the fastest tires that you can put on a 451 bike lah. before I move on uh, I will do a free hub sound check this bike uh, um, I would say rather standard but from the choice of finishing kit and all this uh, you will know oh this owner definitely is an experienced rider lah. seat post um, light pro A61 aluminium seat post 33.9 diameter clamp uh, handlebar post FN horn it's not 3D construction but it's good enough handlebar 35.4 standard aluminium handlebar there's this handlebar ring I suppose around here at the quick release this one is kind of like a accessories to decorate the bike lah. and also um, you can make sure your handlebar is always at the same position light pro handlebar grip uh, come in foam material uh, nice and comfortable to hold one highlight that you can't take your eye away is this front light brackets there's these brackets that mount at the hole at the front top and then come up with a cylinder tube so that you can mount your light over here this is very this is really awesome you can keep your handlebar clean and tidy and also you will have your lights uh, perfectly centered i think that's all pretty much about the bike now i'm gonna show you guys how to fold it down and how it looks like after you fold down lah. whole bike is kind of lightweight as well I would say this is one of the perfect computer bike that you can have lah. so now let's move on to um, 3 on 3 now it's time for 3 on 3 where I share 3 things that I like and 3 things that I don't like so first thing I like about this bike is the flexibility a few things that contribute to this 
point is first uh, FN Horn offer frame only second this bike can fit 406 and also 451 uh, third this bike can take front derailleur having all these three benefits highly increase the flexibility of this bike uh, you can build your own bike you can choose your wheel size and then also you can choose your gear ratio the second thing is the weight of this bike uh, this build is actually around 10 kg and this is a 20 inch folding bike while the regular folding bike comes stocks in 12 kg to 13 kg 10 kg is actually a very remarkable weight lah. and the third thing that i like will be the price so again right fn horn offer frame only options a seller can spec in different standard of specs to fit different budget um, buyers and that will cater for all like new cyclists and also avid cyclists so whenever price point that you are looking at that will definitely something for you and usually the price is quite affordable three things that i don't like first will be the precision of the bike um i I think this is pretty much uh, FN Horn common problem. Um, the precision of the bike doesn't feel that good uh, compared to some brands, for example, Dahon or Turn, right? For example, when I wanted to fold down the bike, uh, some of the hinge is a little bit too tight and sometimes it's a bit too loose. So all this precision can be better. Second things that I don't like will be the folded size. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned in this channel before or not. I always think that the best size folding bike is 16 inch instead of 20. The 16 inch folded really compact. It will be very easy for you to load in your car, on board to MRT or RRT or buses. Compared to 20 inch, the folder size is not that friendly. After a few years of riding, I will definitely settle for 16 inch instead of 20 inch. Lah. And the last point that I don't like is it's kind of subjective. I think the frame design is uh, rather boring in today's standard. The yellow color, yes, is striking, but the graphics can be better. Uh, FN Horn logo is everywhere, which I think is a bit too much. I think this doesn't bother a lot of people, like just me. Lah. It's a very subjective point. Lah. That's all for today's video. Uh, if you like bike review like this, uh, do subscribe to my channel and also click the little bell icon. Until the next one, uh, bye bye.